So they're forced to have at least double a normal blood sugar and they're going to suffer. Uh, they're going to uh, develop uh, neuropathies, they're going to develop blindness, their brains are certainly not going to function as well as they would if their blood sugars had been kept normal. And what is the real reason for this? And I've spoken to people over the years who are in effect setting the guidelines for uh, target blood sugars. And they, I, I've from different doctors gotten the same answers. They'll say, look, I, my specialty is diabetes. I treat maybe 3,000 patients. If all of these patients were to either die young, go blind, uh, develop painful neuropathy in their feet, uh, if they were to lose their ability to copulate or reproduce, uh, or if they lost their legs, uh, their legs were amputated. These are all natural consequences of diabetes, these doctors tell me. But if one patient out of my 3,000 dies of hypoglycemia, I get sued. So I'm going to make sure that there's not the remotest possibility of any of my patients dying of hypoglycemia, I'm going to keep their blood sugars so high so that's not a possibility. That's the story. That's the true story.